Hi guys, it's Suzanne and I'm back with another video and this video is just my wish list for Hella Handmade Creations and Hella Handmade Creations is basically the same as or it's not exactly the same but pretty similar to PPU if you don't know what that is it's basically a pre-order site and Hella Handmade Creations runs from 614 to 621 and what you do is you come back to the site between 614 and 621 and you go through and you place your order for any of the items that you want and Hella Handmade Creations has polishes, wax melts, jewelry, pens, paper, little doodads like it says on there, just a bunch of different little things that people can make handmade and the difference between PPU and HHC or Hella Handmade Creations is um, Hella Handmade Creations does not do a monthly theme like PPU does. Um, the makers come up with their own theme and put out as many polishes as they want in that series. So, and then after you come on here, the site, let me make sure I say this, from, you know, after it closes on 621, you get your polishes three to four weeks after. So basically you're pre-ordering them. So this time I'm going to do it different and we're just going to go look straight at my wish list because I have already gone through this on my own. So the first one on my wish list, and I have 10 on my wish list, as you can see there, is from Peppered Polish, a girl in a red dress, $12, 100 bottle cap. And this is they, uh, Pepper Polish continues my favorite movie, Me Before You series with a girl in a red dress, with, which is a red jelly base, gold holographic glitter, gold reflective glitter, and black glitter. And is inspired by her favorite movie. Um, I normally don't like reds. This will probably get vetoed, to be honest, but I love the little black flakies in it. I love just the little black flakies in it. That's basically it. And I think because it's a jelly jelly formula kind of it's looking squishy which is making me like it but I imagine that will get probably delete it because I only want to get three to four polishes and as you can see I have ten so the next one on my wish list is paradox polish friend or foe thirteen dollars no cap and this is where paradox polish continues the series inspired by Wednesdays with friends or foe which is a bright minty green with iridescent red flake and red and silver metallic flakes like look at this shot that is just it's a lot of stuff in there but i like it and i'm thinking i probably don't have anything i don't know i might that is this um base shade of green because they're saying it is a minty green i don't know that i have some pictures it looks like i do have something like that and some it doesn't so i'm unsure about this one too so the next one on my wish list is from Night Owl Lacquer, and I think you say this snarcastic, that's how I would say it, snarcastic, $13, no cap, and it says Night Owl Lacquer continues the series inspired by Gilmore Girls with snarcastic, which is a yellow green field with fuchsia, orange, yellow, green shimmer, and silver reflective glitter pigment. I don't know if I will, ooh because that's the reflective, I guess. I don't know if I wind up getting this. I do feel like I don't have that many um, greens in this shade, because it's kind of like um, what most people would consider a prugly green. I do think it's very pretty. I already looked at that one, but I do not know about this one, but it is kind of something is telling me I want it, but it will probably get deleted too. So next up we have, ooh, I think this one is so pretty. Nailed it, Aqua Tail. $13, 300 bottle cap. It says, now that it continues the series inspired by Pokemon with Aqua Tail, which is a light blue base packed with green, purple, blue, crystal flakies and holographic uh, flakies. Hollow flakies. I just think this is those flakes in there and the blue is making it super, sorry, I keep doing that. Um, making it super, ooh, I love that picture right there. I just love those little flakies in there. It is making it super glowy looking and super beautiful looking. Um, I don't know about this one. I feel like I have something. I have Fun Dip that I just got recently, which is like this, but without the flakies. I'm kind of thinking I like this one better than Fun Dip, but I haven't seen them both together, so I really shouldn't say that. But I'm 
definitely feeling that polish there so but again i'm going to try to get it narrowed down some um this next one is from music city beauty moonstone 1250 100 bottle cap and it says music city beauty continues the series inspired by gemstones with moonstone which is a, a white crelly base with blue shimmer and black metallic flakies now i don't know if i have any it says blue shimmer i don't have anything that has a blue shimmer but i do know i have a white that has black flakies in this so this one could very well be vetoed but because it's a white crelly i'm drawn to it and i just think this one is too cute so i'm kind of debating that one then next up, I have some, I don't know how you say this nail brand. I'm going to say LB, Equal Rights. I'm not sure if that's how you say it. I don't have anything from this polish. I actually ordered one from Little Box of Horrors last month, but I haven't received it yet. So I don't know, you know, how um, their polish is, but um, this one is just too stinking cute. This is too stinking cute. It's $13.50 for a 100 bottle cap. So it says LB Nail Polish also brings us a pride polish. Equal Rights is a clear pink Crelly nail polish with rainbow colored glitters. So they're going to give 30% of the sales to Entertainment So or Sue. I'm not sure how you say that, but it's something to do with Equal Rights because it's a pride polish that is just too stinking cute what is confusing me is how it says it's a clear pink crelly i don't understand what that means because it's either a clear base or it's a pink base it's definitely a pink base there's no way they're getting this color with clear this one is too stinking cute i feel like this is definitely one that i'll have a hard time saying no to but i just oh that one's too stinking cute so let's see then I have this one from Calista D. Carroll. Charge It is $13 for a 120 bottle cap. And it says, Calista D. Carroll continues the series inspired by the Flintstones with Charge It, which is a bright cyan blue with mermaid flakes and multi-chrome shimmer and chrome pink flakes. I don't know. Ooh, that is so cute. That picture right there is so cute. I love the brightness of this blue, and I love the... Um, the actual blue coloring itself they're saying it's a cyan blue um but see i don't like like see this picture how see how it's so much like lighter which i'm just assuming because they either don't have a blurring base coat or they only did two coats and this person here did three coats with a blurring base coat like i love it like that but i don't love it like this so that might cause me you know, to nix that one off. I'll just have to think about it more. And then next up we have uh, Macaroon by Danny Vienna, $13, 100 bottle cap. So by Danny Vienna continues the series inspired by desserts and, desserts and pastries with Macaroon, which is a pink crelly base with red metallic flakes. Okay. When I first saw this, I thought, oh, I don't need it. I have, I know I have shades of pink like that. But if you look close, it's kind of hard to see in some of these pictures. There are these little red flakies in there, which I just think that, look at that shot there. That just makes this polish adorable. So it is making me want it because of the little flakies. Ugh, I don't know. I'm having a hard time with this one because, like I said, I feel like I probably have pinks that look so similar to this, but none have those little flakies. Um... And you possibly could recreate this, but to get it, like, they're very um, sparse, I guess is the word. There's not a whole lot of them, um, which which I like. I mean, I like would probably like it either way, but I feel like any topper that I personally have to recreate this would make it be so many more, you know, it'd be very dense or so many more covered. It would be so covered with those little flakies. So I think that one is so cute. And then let's see. Okay, we have two more. I think we have two more. We might have three more. Um, the next one is from Bees Knees Lacquer Meteor Mancy. That's how I would say this. This is their eighth anniversary polish for Hella Handmade Creation. I guess it's their eighth year doing business. Thirteen dollars, a thousand bottle cap. Bees Knees Lacquers brings us Meteor Mancy. 
As part of HHC's eighth anniversary, Meteor Mancy is a bright mauvey purple with glowy blue shimmer. Now here lately, I love that shot right there. I just love that shot. This, this like, I don't really like it the way it looks right here, but I love it here. I just love it there. Um, several makers here lately have had these pinks with blue shimmers come out, and I have been saying no to all of them, but I have honestly been wanting all of them. But for some reason, I think I might say yes to this one because I've been like, that's really pretty right there. I mean, if I buy this polish and it looks like that, I will be totally disappointed. I'm not going to lie. But I, to me, that she probably doesn't have a blurring base coat on and it looks like maybe two thin coats. And this one here probably has, it could be lighting though. You know, it's hard to tell, but she probably has a blurring base coat on and three thick coats. Um, so if I could get it to look like that, I want this polish. But if I get it and it looks like this, I don't want this polish. So this one is, you know, another one I'll have to, you know, think over. Then I have this one on my list, which is from BCB Lacquers. I will not let despair dim my flame. 1350 200 bottle cap. BCB Lacquer continues the series inspired by DC Comics, which with I will not let dis despair dim my flame. It's a neon orange base with purple, red, multi-chrome flakes, hollow flakes, and a green gold shifting shimmer and is inspired by Starfire. Okay. It says it's neon, which makes me want it because I would love a good, I love neon. I'm just scared that this is going to be like a pumpkin-y orange because I'm not really a fan of pumpkin-y orange. It does look very neon in the pictures, but I've also purchased polishes before in the past that have looked neon and then when I get them they're kind of you know pumpkin-y and then I don't like them but this one does look very neon I love the little flakies in it I just uh I just love a good neon orange so that one is definitely making me think about it let's see if that was all of them or if there's one more okay so that's all of them so basically I have 10 on my wish list and I would like to get it whittled down to three or four um so I'll have to think about these over the next um, little bit because I have a little bit and whittle these down. Um, comment down below if you're purchasing anything from Hello Handmade Creations in June. What is on your wish list? Because I'm always curious to know, you know, which polishes you all are eyeballing and which ones you all are into. If you like videos like this, please subscribe. consider subscribing to my channel because I do do nail content videos all the time. And I do monthly giveaways of nail polish to subscribers. I hope everyone has a great day. Remember, keep polishing. Bye, guys.